Okay, we're back with the PowerTech Multi System. What I'm going to show you now is a couple of supplemental exercises that you can do utilizing the pressing portion of this machine. And these are mainly targeted on back training. Okay? So what we have is we have the barbell row. We stand either side of the bench. And just lower this out of the way. Okay. Make sure we don't round our back there. Tuck in the back there. Come in, hold the body over. And rowing up. Again, just that. Here we want to keep constant tension on the muscle. So we don't we don't pause or pause the top, we just keep the muscle working. That'll work more the back, because when we're talking about back, the back, it's in two sections. We have the lat and we have the back. The lat is the wide portion, and the back is the thickness in the centre. So that'll work more the back, the thickness in the centre. This movement will hit more the outer portion of the lat, so it thickens the lat up. And this is, I'm going to demonstrate that now. It's a bit like dumbbell rows. Position ourselves, nice straight back, pull them in. So we can't pinch there. Rep range on these, because they are, do involve a little bit of lower back and, and you can open yourself up to strain like that, keep your repetitions a bit higher, about 10 to 12, so it forces you to use lighter weight and don't put a lot of strain on your lower back. I'll just demonstrate the other side now. We've got about 10 here. Then we've got now is the trapezius, and that thickens up the centre of the back. Basically, the best way to do that there. Now this one we do in conventional style because we don't want to jerk around and do the continuous tension because we basically bring two other many muscle groups into place. So here we want to we do want to do it in conventional style, and that is pause it, rest the body. Pause it, rest the body. Here again, 10 to 12 repetitions. Working through. And like I said, if I was doing it in continuous tension this way, as you can see, I'm just swinging the weight around. I'm not getting any effective work out there. So, five more. Now those supplemental exercises I've just showed you there are great movements to complement the lat pull down and the seated row version. It'll give you more development or thickness in your back muscles. But that being said, those type of exercises probably uh, what I would tend to do is maybe two workouts utilising the pull down and the seated row. <clears throat> and every third workout maybe just warm up on a set of lat pull downs to get your lats warmed up and then doing the rows and the dumbbell rows with the shrugs and then go back to doing another two workouts of the pull down and the seated row so you're using this as a supplementary exercise